Welcome back, guys. It's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Update. Today, we're looking at huge crypto news, which has broken into the market. It is expanding the reach of Bitcoin, making payments so much easier for everyone around the world with a Twitter account. So before we get started, make sure you bust up those YouTube figures down below, hitting the likes, the subs. We're on our way to 220,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for all of your support. We've also got a few other pieces to look at today. First up, make sure you hit the free investor newsletter link down below if you want to be updated once every two weeks on cryptocurrencies and investing. Uh, that link down there, it's absolutely free. It comes out to your email inbox once every two weeks. And we've also got big specials coming up for the education memberships for TIA Premium and TIA Lite. So stay tuned for that as you'll also receive that on your newsletter in the coming days. So link is first in the description down below. So this big news is Twitter is becoming the best remittent experiences in the world. So says Strike founder Malas, who was also at the Bitcoin conferences and helping out El Salvador with their Bitcoin setup as well. Um, so this is the, the debut of tipping Bitcoin on Twitter. Now, this just allows everyone to obviously, that has a Twitter account, be able to send and receive Bitcoin tipping. The announcement comes after the site has been testing such features for months. Tips will be available for Apple iOS users as soon as this week and will be available for those using Android devices in the coming weeks. So as it says here, everyone will soon be able to tip Bitcoin on Twitter, making the social media platform one of the first major significant companies to offer such a payment feature on its platform. I like this that Jack has used Bitcoin and hasn't tried to make up his own cryptocurrency. I think that says a lot about the person themselves. Now, of course, that's just my opinion, but you possibly wouldn't be here if you didn't want to hear my opinion about something and you just wanted to hear news headlines being read out. I mentioned that because Jack has also talked about libertarian views and anarcho-capitalism views. This is different for everyone else. People have very strong opinions of the way society should be run. Jack has posted in August a, a book on anatomy of the state. And so what I'm talking about when I'm describing the paradigm here, Bitcoin, this is what its intended purposes were for. This is what Satoshi Nakamoto wanted to create Bitcoin for. So Satoshi Nakamoto wanted to create a trustless cash system. Satoshi explicitly stated that the reason for creating this digital cash system is to remove the third party intermediaries that are traditionally required to conduct digital money monetary transfers. In February 2009, Satoshi wrote the following on a peer-to-peer -peer focused online forum. The root problem with conventional currency is all that is all the trust that's required to make it work. The central bank must be trusted not to debase the currency, but the history of fiat currencies is full of breaches of that trust. Banks must be trusted to hold our money and transfer it electronically, but they lend it out in waves of credit bubbles with barely a fraction in reserve. In comparison to Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, who wanted to create his own currency to be able to take fees on the, the network and create their own currency for their platform. I prefer this model as it lends more to what Bitcoin is about or cryptocurrency in general, being that it's around the libertarian point of views and the freedom of people and how we use our money and how it is directed. Now, the argument is still there that, of course, this is on the Twitter network and Twitter can shut down anyone just like we have seen in the past with even the president of the US being banned from Twitter. Now, I believe this is a step in the right direction. And if Twitter is to ban people, yes, that is going to limit who uses Bitcoin on their platform. But the ease of being able to set this up and seeing that it works, I think then signals for other companies to be able to do the same. And yes, there are other wallets out there, but the fact that uh, Twitter has such a large base of people just makes sending payments that much easier as most people will have a Twitter account or can easily set one up. So I've got 330 million users on Twitter. Overall, I like the direction that this is going in. I know there are plenty of problems that can be faced coming up, but remember we are dealing with hundreds of millions of people. Not everyone is going to be happy. I'll leave, a, I'll leave it an exact link in the description to this tweet so you can check out this book for free, Anatomy of the State. Let's have a look at the Bitcoin price and currently sitting at 44,800. 
the 50% levels that I'm looking at are around that 47,000. So if we drop it back to a daily chart, we can see that we have cleared the 44 at the moment. We had a reasonable bounce at 39,500. Just like I was talking about in April and May, before we had the big crash correction, using some Wyckoff tape reading, not necessarily looking at the patterns of accumulation and distribution, I was very, very firm on the market in May, breaking past the 18th of April. So this was at 60,400, give or take on different exchanges. So I was looking at around $60,500. The market had to break that and consolidate above that level to make me change my mind that there was something not right, that we would possibly be going down. So of course, I don't know what was happening in the rest of June, July or August. All I saw was this happening and everyone getting super excited calling for $80,000 Bitcoins and this bull run's never ending. They weren't reading Wyckoff analysis or tape reading. And this bar in particular was super important to me because this showed the shift in the market sentiment, huge volume, big crash. And I wanted to see the market be able to recover to that price point. What we've seen so far is a very similar pattern to uh, December through to April top. We've seen the first leg, we've seen a correction, another leg, spike, correction, and then these get smaller and smaller with a fake out before the crash, which took out lows, unlike these other crashes, and then come back up uh, and get us a lower top, which is a very weak signal before we came to our final major crash. And so we're seeing that again on a smaller time frame, which we've covered on the channel uh, a couple of weeks ago as well, as we, as we were seeing it run up into this early September top, especially this little what was looking like a fake out and we discussed it again at this previous peak. So we got a very similar move. One, two, three, four, five, a little bounce here and then we got the fake out. Very similar here, we got the little bounce, the fake out and then the correction. But this is just on a shorter term time frame. So I'm also potentially thinking that we get drawn out a lot longer, even maybe more than what we are expecting with quarter four. But that doesn't mean that I think the market is going to dump past these lows. Of course, we need to see some support come in and then start to grind our way higher. But the beauty about taking our time is that the longer we are in this zone grinding away, the bigger the springboard, the leap will be as we break through the highs. You can see it's happened time and time again. This was from December 2017 before we broke through the highs in December 2020. So three years, you could look at it there or we could look at it in a nice triangle formation from these major lows using some of the other major lows through 2017. And then we get the major break and push to new massive all-time highs. So we get a long accumulation here. I think we'll get a pretty big move to the next new all-time high. Now to some big crypto news. Crypto.com, you guys have been asking for an update on them. Crypto.com have partnered with Philadelphia 76ers. They're also the official Jersey patch partner, as you can see here in this nice little video. And their first ever 76ers NFTs are coming out. How is the CRO price looking? Well, we've dropped to about 15 cents, currently trying to push 17 cents. I don't mind this pattern, but I just I don't see that this low will be holding. I've got my questions about it. I'm concerned about it. Some lower highs at the moment, some lower lows. Uh, we are above the major 50%, which is good, but then the current 50%, which is at 17 and a half cents, that's where I want to see this get to and then form a base above it. That would change my, my view of the market. But currently, I think we'll probably have some more downside on CRO, but that's short term. Overall, I think we've got some longer moves in play, which just take their time as we begin to set up before we take off, as with all markets. So looking at DOT before we get on to Cardano as well. DOT has been setting up pretty well. This was in yesterday's video. We saw another move up of 5.7%. These lows are holding in there. These highs are there. Uh, we got higher lows, which is a good sign compared to CRO. So we saw that we got the breakdown of the 7th of September. There you go. But on DOT, you can see that we had a higher low. So that's a little stronger at the moment for me. So I'm just bringing this up as well because I have found that DOT was a bit of a lagger during the last period, but at the moment it is coming back. It's coming back. It's taking its sweet time, but it looks like we're getting there. Nothing confirmed just yet, but the strength looks like it's there. So speaking of Polkadot and the Polkadot ecosystem, today's sponsor is Pokedex. 
Thanks to today's sponsor, that is Pokedex. And if you can't tell by the name, it's a decentralized exchange that is built on Polkadot. And of course, Polkadot is one of those ecosystems which is starting to get off the ground. We cover it quite a lot on the channel, especially the price analysis. But in terms of Pokedex, they're looking to be the decentralized peer-to-peer order book based cryptocurrency exchange for the DeFi eco- ecosystem built on Substrate, which is on Polkadot. Now, the big news for Pokedex is that their main net is launching this week on September 29th. So you can stake your PDEX, nominate, validate, earn your PDEX on their blockchain by securing the network when you are obviously staking their PDEX tokens. Now, at the time of filming this video, that's approximately 10% staking rewards for your PDEX to secure the network. Pokedex is a new cryptocurrency which was launched back in April. So near the peak of the Bitcoin bull market, the first section. So the PDEX token is currently sitting at $20. In terms of transactions per second, they are looking at being the unmatched performance here. Pokedex scales to 500,000 transactions per second and sub millisecond latency. Pokedex is one of the first decentralized exchanges on the Polkadot ecosystem and they are packed with features as we've covered here. The high frequency trading, which is great for all traders alike, bringing that volume to the exchange. Pokedex IDO palette, Pokedex fiat and decentralized KYC options as well. So if you want to learn more about Pokedex, I highly suggest doing your own research and I'll leave some links to Pokedex in the description down below. Now into our last cryptocurrency and that is Cardano. All right, so we've bounced off the $2 zone multiple times now, got our head underneath that at around $1.80 and again $1.90 and we're now seeing it hit around $2.30 at the moment. The big thing I was waiting for was a confirmed break of this downtrend. And just over the last 24, 36 hours, we've begun to break above it and get some closes. You can see we attempted it early this month, but the market closed under it. It attempted again and closed under again. I think this might be the start of the downtrend slowing. That does not mean that we won't break these lows, but you want to see the downtrend slow down And even if it comes back down, you can see that the angle is getting less. That's the start of a movement into accumulation before we start our move again. You can see that the angle here was sharp and then it became less and less and a a little less again. And then eventually we're back to horizontal and the market breaks out. So this is just about patience. But if you can start to see it form before it happens, that allows you to have that patience and move on with the market and action your plan that you have. That's it for today's video, guys. The big news on Bitcoin. I'm super excited to see where this goes and see how I can use it on Twitter as well. I'm excited to be able to send fast Bitcoin payments over the Lightning Network. This is what we've been waiting for for 12 years and I'm glad it is getting used with libertarian principles and principles that free the people. If you haven't already, smash the YouTube buttons down below. You can always unsubscribe at a future date. It is free and you can go ahead and use your time in the comments section, letting me know exactly what you think of the channel. If you'd rather spend your time more wisely, click on the free investor newsletter. Link is in the top of the description down below. Absolutely free. Unsubscribe anytime. Big specials coming out for the TIA memberships for the course and Patreon coming up very soon. That's all I got for you guys today. Follow us on Instagram and on Twitter for daily crypto updates. Also got a Q&A going on at the moment on Instagram, so make sure you're following over there. I'll see you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.